We set our goals, and today we mark that we have met our goals. Commissioner Troxler recognized our need for new lab facilities many years ago, and it is his vision and commitment to see this building built that brings us here today. This is the first public opportunity for you or anybody else to see this state-of-the-art facility. What you see behind me is five acres of laboratory space and training and office space under one roof. There's no other building like it in North Carolina, uh, and we believe this building is likely to become a national model for labs across the country. Staff will have four loading bays of equipment of things coming in. They'll have chemical storage rooms, they'll have the central warehouse, and they'll have four other warehouses to deal with. So it's going to be a very large warehousing operation down here. All of the biosafety level three rooms, all of the way that the rooms are arranged for that workflow, that was very intentional. And we worked very closely with the scientists of the Department of Ag to ensure good functionality for them. The trench drain you see actually will go to an oil water separator. Something for citizens of North Carolina to be proud of, you know, something for employees that come here every day and put their lives on the line for the safety and the citizens of North Carolina so that they can hold their head up. I mean, they are professionals. When you look at their 40 and 60 year old buildings and see where they're coming from and the challenges that they have to overcome every day and being able to give them something that is efficient, that is flexible, that allows them to do their work efficiently and safely, that gives us a lot of joy and is a source of pride, of course. This is the coffee one. So they have separate extraction and inoculation but shared that. amplification. I got it some COVID friendly yeah. things that go beyond COVID. So we thought about um, outdoor meeting space. We thought about um, raising the partitions for the uh, workstations. We have implemented um, UV lights. We have implemented a bipolar ionization system. So all of these things, you know, upped filtration. Improved air quality is going to be huge, and people are more and more worried about this, uh, as they should be. And so even when COVID is gone, what will be the next thing? Or just somebody, you know, is carrying a, a flu or something they didn't even realize they had, the germs will all be negated immediately in the air. So that's a really high confidence level for the employees that come here every day. And then in the areas that doesn't have biopolarization, you have high-density UV light. Sort of a one-way workflow so that all the clean work is separated from where there might be TV contamination to prevent any false positives. All the planning that went into this to make it uh, what we need, the best that it could be, and you can see it here today. Remember that agriculture and agribusiness uh, account for one-sixth of the state's income and employed. About 17% or over $92.7 billion dollars is directly contributed to our state's economy from agriculture. This is a long-term investment, not only for agriculture, but for the people of this state. So how do we celebrate that, but how do we actually recruit and attract talent? I mean, it's a competitive market. So finding folks that feel called, that feel a mission, that they want to help, the safety for all North Carolinians. They want to provide that great asset to North Carolina, but they also need to feel that when they come to work that they're valued and that their safety is taken into account. So good air quality, for example, making sure that we've provided a, um, the right pressurization between the rooms, that they have natural light, that they have a safe place to go and eat their lunch, all those things, that they could walk around the campus at, at a break time. So really an attraction and recruitment tool for the department, but also for the state of North Carolina to ensure that we get really high quality scientists who are happy to come to work here every day and benefit citizens of North Carolina. This is the largest building project the North Carolina Department of Agriculture and Consumer Services has ever done in history. And we wanted to make sure that it's right.